In this last section of the course, we took a look at a critical component of the modern network, and that is security. Let's go ahead and take a look at another very important aspect of modern networking, and that is quality of service. You recall in day one, I shared with you three overall approaches your organization can take to QoS. There was the best effort model, where money is no object. You just over-provision all the bandwidth and all the resources your organization might ever need. Then there was the integrated services approach. That's called hard QoS, in which we use the RSVP protocol to literally reserve resources for things like voice over IP phone calls. And then finally, the most popular differentiated services model, in which we classify and mark traffic and then treat that traffic a special way at each hop in the network infrastructure. Have you mastered those three overall approaches to quality of service? Let's find out right now. Let's do one of our interactive polling questions. Grab your mouse. You're going to be voting for the correct response here. What type of approach to QoS features the use of RSVP and is also referred to as hard QoS? Is that integrated services? Is it differentiated services? Is it best effort? Effort, or is it class-based weighted fair queuing? And you know what? Let's not choose class-based weighted fair queuing because we didn't mention it in this course, so how could it be right? Yeah, let's go after A, B, or C, our three overall approaches to QoS. Look at that, 83% on the correct answer, great job. Hard QoS utilizing the RSVP protocol is a part of the integrated services approach. It's effective, but it doesn't scale. Now, my producer's waving his arms at me. It looks like we have a question from Brandon. Let's bring in that question now. Hey, Anthony. Uh, why does voice over IP traffic need QoS so badly? Thanks. Yeah, what an awesome question. Here's the deal. Voice over IP is so desperate for quality of service because it is extremely sensitive to drops and delays. You compare this to data traffic, and what you discover is data traffic may be real greedy, real bursty in nature, but it really doesn't care much should there be some packet drop or some delay. Voice over IP traffic is the exact opposite. It's very fragile. It's a delicate flower that we must treat with great care in the network infrastructure. So Brandon, it's because of this drop and delay sensitivity that we so desperately need to give voice over IP traffic the quality of service that it deserves. Specifically, that voice over IP traffic needs very low latency, very low variations in latency called jitter, and very little packet loss. And for those of you pursuing certification, I want you to memorize those exact parameters because Cisco loves to challenge students with those exact metrics demonstrating how voice over IP is desperate for QoS.